नमस्कार सबको मेरा थैंक यू बंदे उत्कल जने जय जगन्नाथ सुलता जी बहुत धन्यवाद माननीय भुवनेश्वर कलिता जी Thank you, sir, uh, for giving me the opportunity. I'll be brief. Uh, uh, since uh, we have to so be many... brief, I will request uh, all the speakers to be yes. brief. Uh, uh, so uh, this uh, bill was uh, uh, this bill is our commitment, India's commitment to the Convention on Biological Diversity of 1992. On the basis of this, uh, the CBD recognizes uh, countries to have the right to control their biological resources. So that keeping that in view, this uh, national biodiversity uh, bill was brought and uh, with, uh, with the objectives like uh, national uh, uh, in three tier the Act establishes a three-tier structure, National Biodiversity Authority, State Biodiversity Authority, and Biodiversity Management Committees. Uh, this Act of 1992 uh, provides for sharing of benefits with uh, uh, conservers of biodiversity and holders of uh, creators of associated knowledge. Benefits may be shared in various forms such as monetary compensation, sharing of intellectual property rights, and technical technology transfer. So the present bill, uh, the, uh, bio the Biological Diversity Amendment Bill 2021 uh, has the highlights uh, and objectives to encourage the Indian system of medicine and cultivation of wild medicinal plants. Sir, we are known for our uh, 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 the Indian system of medic uh, medicine, and before the allopathic or any other form of medicines, this was the only answer to uh, for treatment of people in general, and it was accepted in uh, in a large scale. The second thing is to decriminalize the offences, and the third to encourage foreign investment in this sector, uh, and to facilitate fast tracking of processes for research, patent, application, and transfer of research results. So the key highlights that I want, to, uh, uh, I want to place before you and the House is to access to biological resources and associated knowledge. This act requires prior approval for or intimation to the regulatory authorities that is National Biodiversity Authority and State Biodiversity Authority based on the origin of the entity for obtaining biological resources occurring in India or associated knowledge. Uh, and number two, the exemption to IUS practitioners. It seeks to exempt the IUS practitioners and people accessing cold, uh, codified, codified uh, traditional knowledge among others, from giving prior intimation to state uh, biodiversity boards for accessing biological resources. Uh, there are many other important issues in this bill, which should have, I, I think, uh, other, some other speakers will also mention about it. But I will, uh, 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 I have some concerns in this. Uh, in this bill, sir. So I will only uh, deal with this, uh, deal with my concerns uh, in this uh, uh, in this bill. Uh, uh, number one is lack of clear legislative guidance for determining the penalty, because the bill uh, the bill uh, has uh, has spoken about uh, the uh, the legislative guidance uh, for, uh, for the penalty. An adjudicating, adjudicating officer of the joint secretary rank of central government or secretary rank of the state government will determine the penalty. That is where I have some of my concern, which our honorable minister, while replying, he, he will touch upon this. I will only highlight this, that the range of penalties is extensive, ranging from one lakh rupees to one crore rupees, with no specific instructions for the adjudicating officer 
on how to decide within this range. The bill does not differentiate penalties based on the type of offence. Uh, I appreciate the bill, I support the bill, but I, I, I request the Honourable Minister to uh, throw some more light on this. And the second point that I want to highlight here about, and which is my concern, is the bill, this bill replaces a ZAS as the adjudicating authority with a, with a government official. A government will replace the judge. A government official will replace the judge. And the penalty decisions will be based on an inquiry rather than a judgment after open court arguments. The concern is whether giving such discretion to a government official is appropriate. That is my concern, sir. Uh, I, uh, I, I understand, I support this bill, I, and I hope the minister will throw more light Thank on you. these issues. Thank you, Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, Mani Bhunusar Keltaji. Honorable Ajodhya Rami Reddy Ji.